Hello. Hello and toodle-doo. And I don't know which side of my camera. Okay, camera's over here. <laughs> I turned the thing so many times I lost track of where it was at. Hi, everybody. Welcome to our Tuesday lunch chat on a Wednesday. Woo! Thank you for persevering to find us here this Wednesday at noon. Um, or whatever time it is in your time zone. I had something come up yesterday. I could not reschedule. So I had to bump the our typical lunch chat. Consequently, I'm just really confused about what day it is because apparently I really center my whole week around our Tuesday lunch chats and everything else seems off a day now. But um, it's so great to be here. Yesterday we received the most massive shipment from Barocco. It was a restock and Jill made this shop look incredible, including this beautiful wall of vintage behind me. Um, we have something really exciting coming up in February that uses vintage and needs color. And I can't wait to share it with you, but it's under wraps for now. But part of this restock is in, in anticipation of that fun thing that's coming down the pike. So hello, hello, hello. I've got my tea on this kind of gray drizzly day, but after this, we might get sunshine, which is crazy. I know Leah is one yummy wall. I, I mean, it's just... Oh, I don't know if you can really get all the blues too. Let's see if I can, there's the blues. Yeah, it's so, so great. So, oh no, I blocked the camera a little bit. This little phone holder is so sensitive. Um, I'm trying it on my phone today because I thought the audio was so much better last week on my phone. Um, if you weren't here last week, the, the internet went out midway into my chat. I had been on my iPad. I had to resume on my phone so I could use the cell service. And then when I listened back to it, the audio seemed way better. So I'm just gonna try it on my phone uh, a few times and see if if that helps. So yes, um, I don't have a whole lot to show you, which is so sad, but I do have a lot to tell you. So um, we have three new classes listed with Miss Ingrid that you should definitely go check out. These are classes that happen on Zoom, so you don't have to be local. You all know by now she is like so talented at teaching online. It is her gift. She is the Zoom whisperer. <laughs> She's watching this. I bet she just rolled her eyes. So the first one up is uh, More Brioche. This is one of her signature classes because she's also a brioche whisperer, if you didn't know. <laughs> and so this class would be if you've already learned uh, the basics of brioche, how to make the burp, how to make the burp, the bark, um, those kinds of things, how to work basic two color brioche. This class takes those skills to the next level. So it increases, decreases shaping, um, flat in the round, all of that kind of thing. So really great class if you would like to take your brioche skills to the next level. These are recorded. You don't have to attend them live, although it's great if you do because then you get this one on, um, not one on one, but very small ratio of students to teach your time to ask your questions and get things explained. But the recordings are always made available if you happen to miss the class you're signed up for. Uh, the next one is Navigating Patterns, Yarn and Fiber. And this is gonna be a stellar class. Stellar. This is all about learning the right way to get gauge, figuring out why you make projects that end up not fitting the people they're supposed to fit, how to make a yarn substitution when there's a pattern you really want to make but you don't have access to the yarn that it was written for, how to read into weights of yarn and the fibers they're made of to know what would work in place of a yarn or what will not work. So this is that class that will help you become a pro at shopping for yarn for your next project. And this, again, this is a Zoom class, it's recorded, etc. This one's gonna be a gem. Like this is one that you're gonna want forever and ever. There's no homework required. She just gives you some suggestions to bring maybe something that you have found that you want to make but you aren't sure how to shop for or other things that you have questions about, etc. So um, really, really, really great class. And then the third class, the date has not been published yet so you can't quite sign up for it but it is listed on our website. You can read all about it. It just says it's coming soon. As soon as we get the date finalized, we will make registration available. But it is a short rose class and 
and Ingrid does a great job at breaking down short rows to become very, very manageable. A lot of people see short rows in a pattern and they kind of like, oh, I don't want to do the short rows. But this, after, if you do this class, you will no longer be scared of short rows. And I have to say, when I opened the store in 2005, there was not a lot of short rows and patterns. It was definitely more of an advanced technique, like I'm gonna air quote that, um, that you would see in a few things here and there. And it has become so ubiquitous now to, to properly use short rows like to shape the back of a neck. Whereas before, I think people were, designers were scared to make a pattern inaccessible to people who didn't have the skills and so they would just leave it out. But but we aren't, we aren't symmetrical in our back neck and our front neck. And so they really are an important part of a lot of sweater patterns. And um, they can also be used in other parts, not just the neck. So this is the class if you want to become a master of short rows and no longer fear seeing the word short rows or no, you know, stop and turn and all of that. So three great classes, uh, definitely check them out. Okay, we have a new product that I want to show you, um, and then I'm going to make Jill come over here and get in the video with us. So we, um, in continuing to uh, offer their sweater care kits a la carte, Coco Knits has released the next component that used to be only available inside the sweater care kit, and it is the pop-up dryer. And this thing is magic, I'm telling you. So this is a mesh, very fine mesh, um, it's got like a, a metal kind of like perimeter and it, I don't know, it's a disc shape, but it kind of gives a gentle arch. And so what it's for is when you've got a piece that's blocking and it has got to the stage, like you've, you've laid it out and you measured it and maybe you pinned it down, but now it's like half dry and you, and it's shaped, it's going to hold its shape, but you need to speed the drying up. Um, or just if you have something that you don't need to pin, you lay it over this, air can get through underneath and above. So this is the magic of the pop-up dryer. So these are now available from Coco Knits. Uh, 30 bucks for the pop-up dryer. They're really big. They're 38, 34 by 28. So, I mean, they're huge. They're big. Like you could definitely lay a sweater over it. Like your sleeves, you just gently fold the sleeves at the elbow and, and it works. So really, really great component in your blocking arsenal. Um, yes, yes, definitely get that. Um, I have like some old version that, I don't know, I think my mom gave it to me. Um, I'm gonna switch to this though because mine's got these weird little legs that it stands on and it's such a pain to deal with it every time. Jill, get over here! <laughs> she was looking. <laughs> Jill finished something and it is stunning and she's wearing it and I wish you all could just like reach right through the phone right now and feel her. Um, so let's see if I can get you down there. So. Remind us what this is. This is No Frills by Petite Knits. And the camera's over that side. I know I keep looking in the wrong spot. <laughs> I'm like, sorry. So Jill is like this picture of softness because oh, this was this. a fingering wool held with a silk mohair blend. Yeah. So scratchy and soft. Yeah, scratch, <laughs> scratchy and soft. Scratchy made soft, right? That's by right. the mohair. Um, and your color is just gorgeous. Oh, I so, love it. This is, um, we brought over, if you wanted to make one yourself, there are a million combos of Lana's that you could, Lana's Light, excuse me, not regular Lana's, Lana's Light, you could pair up with Impressions from Tosh or with uh, Ariel by Barocco. So we've got here the 7843, which is like the navy. And then it looks beautiful with Ceremony. They're essentially the same color. And then Thunderstorm is a dark navy, like almost black That's navy, but it is blue. And I think that is closer to what Jill's got going on here. It creates kind of a, a little heathery version with like this dark overtone shadow. But um, she's really made me want to do one I can, of these. I can do them in every yes. color. <laughs> and we just got new colors of impression in yesterday. And so there's this, this color called Flash Dance. And it is a the most stunning purple it's like a deep purple but it's kind of we'll iridescent like it. it's little gorgeous. flecks of pink i'm uh, yes i'm completely fixated so jill told me i have permission to cast on something else at least one <laughs> <laughs> wait when did you start this i started this last february okay so see she finished up an old whip she also finished oh is your hat around oh yeah okay, she's gonna go get her hat she also finished another one um and so she's really feeling the <laughs> The cast on permission itis. But she's also cranking through some shop samples too right now. She's got some baby sweaters in the works that you guys are going to die for. This is it's the so fluid sock head beanie. It's so cute. Okay, get, so get a little soft. bit closer and like maybe, yeah. 
Oh, so gorgeous? it's got this really deep turned hem here. Is that also fingering and mohair? Fingering and mohair, yep. So the fluid sock head beanie. And this is the um, star scatter. Oh. Mm. oh, oh, very soft. It's so pretty. <laughs> so Jill did good. She finished two things this week. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> We lucked out because the store is actually open to, on Wednesdays. And so 10 minutes before our video time, there was probably four people wandering around shopping. And I was like, oh, this is going to be awkward. <laughs> they all finished up and left. And it was like right at noon. So boom. No, uh, no weirdness. Because I'm weird enough on the videos. But it's really weird when someone's just like standing right there weirdly looking at you like, what is she doing? Why is she talking? <laughs> Um, okay, I I think that's all I've got. I uh, have made some more progress on my bread, so I left it at home. Um, knitting is just hard right now. I'm hoping to get that fixed. Oh, I don't, I have one more thing. We're gonna move the camera, so everybody like, ground yourself or close your eyes if you're susceptible to seasickness. Hold tight. Okay, I'm moving the camera. So we have Beautiful new stock of Yvonne's Yakety Yak DK. Uh, the yarn that was behind me, Kim, was Barocco Vintage. Um, <laughs> Cindy, I gotta stop wearing this sweater. This is a totally commercial sweater and I have it in four colors. And every time I wear it, everybody wants to know. I'm trying to get the camera down though to see all the beautiful colors of Yvonne's yarn. So we've got like the reds, purples, greens, browns, warm tones, and blues, grays. So um, this is Yakety Yak DK. There is a sweater I'm actually really tempted to do. Julia, can you help me with this? This is like Ingrid shared it. It's got the um, stripes, but it's got the little columns of like slip stitches that go down. Um, I know this is so not helpful. So I'm so, I just like, I love so many of these colors together. I think they would make really pretty combos in that stripe. Um, so like these four, and this yarn feels amazing. So this yarn, um, it's spendy because it's really, really luxe. And I know I've thought about reverse engineering this, but it is complicated. It's got this curve and it's folded and it's got, I, <laughs> people are talking about the sweater. Like I gotta stop wearing this. Um, so this is, okay, let me tell you what the content. 70% merino, 15% yak, and 15% silk. It's a four ounce skein with 330 yards. Um, so this is kind of the natural color right here because the yak has a light brown kind of silvery quality to it. So it's over dyed. Yeah, I think that's it, Julia. Thank you. That's what I wanna do with this yarn. So it's calling to me. Jill made the display look so pretty over here. Um, Okay, so that really was the last thing I had for you today. Um, I've been staring at the wrong end. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, <laughs> so thank you for tuning in on a Wednesday for our Tuesday lunch chat. And I will meet you all back here actually on Tuesday next week. Um, so not the same time, same place, but you know, the, the regular same time, same place. All right, everyone. Have a wonderful week. Bye.